I want to talk a little bit about this iPhone SE as well because a lot of people's uh, reviews and things came out talking about this uh, 2022 iPhone SE. You got to put the 2022 in there because otherwise you wouldn't know what the hell you're looking at. You might think you're looking at an iPhone, iPhone 8. iPhone 8. Yeah, exactly. You're not really sure. Uh, so the SE didn't change one bit as far as physically looking at it. It changed on the inside. It got a lot faster. And I ordered a couple of these. I plan on uh, investigating. Okay. I plan on uh, sniffing them out, you know, seeing what they smell like. Um, but in, 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 in all seriousness, I find it to be a very interesting device. And I said from when the event took place that only Apple can do it. Only Apple can release that phone in 2022. And I mean it in a positive way and I mean it in a negative way. Both. From a positive perspective, it's like Apple customers know what they want and they have an appreciation for a tried and true form factor. And they have a variety of customers with that uh, maybe have a different set of needs than the typical uh, customer. And they have, a, they have a variety of products aiming to satisfy those needs at different price points. And then on the negative front, you can say this is like the laziest thing ever because you're a technology company and you are so dedicated and committed to this particular old-fashioned form factor. Now, I know uh, uh, there's been some talk of the SE in the name. And, uh, I mean, I, you know, special edition. And then in Marquez's video, he's like, whoa, it's not really a special edition. I don't even remember what he called it, a standard. No, simple. He called it simple. simple. You could change that S to a lot of things. And this is absolutely no judgment, but you could also change it to Seniors Edition. Mm. That's no judgment. I'm not suggesting that only a senior could like a thing, but I'm just, I tend to notice in my life, you get people of a certain generation, they find a thing they like, they don't want it to change that much. Mm. Particularly yeah. technology products. That's a good point. It's not, a, it's not a judgment on anybody. A young person can have this and be like, that's all I want. I want, you could use the word simple if you want. Change the S to whatever you like. But... I think often when we look at these things, we it's just through the lens of ourselves. I would hate to use that or Apple sucks or whatever. But I'm telling you, Apple ain't going to make something that nobody wants. They mm -hmm. got the market research, Will. They got the data collection, Will. They know what's going on. And if you look at this particular device, it's going to be incredibly familiar for people who just need uh, modern software and a faster operation. Now, one area where I can say that I think that same group of, of uh, reliable users, mm. reliable customers, where that same group could really benefit and isn't getting helped out here is battery life. That's my one worry with the thing. You slam the latest chip in there. You look at the way that people are increasingly using their devices to play games and watch videos, which is a thing you would do with the latest chip. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, this thing's not lasting a day. And that's going to be annoying for those customers. So my thing is, okay, do the old reliable. But when you go in there and upgrade the horsepower, you know what else you got to do, Will? Battery. Upgrade the gas tank. Hmm. Just I'm going with the same metaphor. But it's such a slim profile. How do you change one? I, 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 think, I think you make it a little bit fatter. And you call it. And maybe you get rid of the SE origin. I know they don't want to change the body at all because they're trying to keep costs down. Keep costs down? You're talking about profit margins beyond anybody else in the game. I didn't think I was going to okay. stay up there at that pitch for that long. It's actually tough on the vocals. Yeah. but Don't uh, stay up there. But that's somebody in the comments section is saying that. They're saying, wait, didn't I just see your profit margins? Didn't I just see Tim Cook's bonuses? Mm -hmm. uh, like Apple's seems to be just fine. So can't we redo the chassis a little bit? Like you can imagine this phone. You can imagine this phone, Will, with a bigger iPhone mini-like display profile, uh, maybe with Face ID. Right? They have these technologies. They got, you know, buckets full of these technologies from their other devices. And a slightly bigger battery in there. What you got now? Well, now you got a heavy hitter. Now you got a real seller. Mm -hmm. But that right there introduces your problem. 
how are you going to get people up to those other devices? And this is what I said previously about, and I didn't see this in the reviews that I watched, but about business, zooming out the business model. If you give people too much at $400. They're going to stick with the 400 Everyone's going to get it. Yeah. Everyone's going to, no one's going to step up to the other things. They're going to be like, oh, what? It's a little shiny. Okay, no, this is fine. I'll go get this one mm -hmm. for half the price. And now you have to, then you get this weird conversation about people talking about uh, getting, just getting older flagship iPhones. And it's like, it's, it's all very uh, frustrating. Uh, I'm, I like the fact that Apple makes an, a new device in 2022 that's actually somewhat budget friendly. But you got to understand your compromises here. And you got to understand what you're buying. And you have to know going into it if it's the right one for you. It's going to operate quickly. It's going to get updates forever. It's got, uh, you'll never wish you had something faster, but you will wish that you had something with better battery. Unless you just don't use it that much, in which case, no problemo, live your life. But I think that's going to be the number one complaint with this if you're considering it. You know, if you're away from the wall, it also doesn't have like crazy fast charging. Once you do have to recharge it, it's like, you know, 20 watt or whatever. I'm really curious about who's buying this. Because you talked about um, potentially the old people that's purchasing this. Mm. I thought it would be the opposite. I thought it would be young people. It's mainly insane. because it's affordable. It's a good entry point for the, app, the, the Apple reason, the ecosystem. Only re the only reason I was implying older people is because of the strong nostalgia factor with this design. Mm -hmm. Right? You're you're dating back, never mind the iPhone 8. It's basically the same as the iPhone 7, 7. as well. Yep. So now you're covering ground, which is almost almost a decade at that point. Mm -hmm. So I think the iPhone 6 looked like this too. The iPhone 6 didn't look all that different. And you have a button on it and touch ID. And for people who don't want to learn gestures or, you know, some kind of people who are apprehensive about face ID, let's say. Sure. Who are these people that you would bump into in life? It will be, in some cases, older generations. Mm -hmm. I, listen, man, it's not I'm not saying that these are rules. I'm not suggesting that. But but when you said younger cheaper price you just brought up a whole new thing what about people's first phone mm -hmm. the iphone and apple offering an entry point and then yes and then kids almost like whatever kids first phone is it's like whatever works it, have, it has a camera it has apple ios like fine get it for them it's like you can you can kind of spend 400 here in north america you can kind of spend 400 as a gift yeah a thousand as a gift is a whole different ball game mm. so it's all types of factors in there but where Apple is genius is in the balancing of their product line and the progression of the customer. That nice. a customer can enter into the Apple realm, but still be wanting something more within that uh, ecosystem of hardware products. That mm -hmm. they can get in, get all the services going, and then say, oh, next time I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that other one. Yeah, it's just aspiring. Yes, it's uh, like a... There's a need for upgrade. Like Porsche sells more of the Cayenne than the actual 911. Yeah. And and it's that it's that it's a more approachable entry point. And, yeah, and then, same with car, yeah, like and the then, Bronco. And you know? There's aspir, exactly. There's aspiration yeah. baked in. So for Apple, it's a business move. They absolutely could give you more, but why would they? Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why would they? Go buy the mini. It works for them. If you want more, you you spend. You want more, you spend more. Uh, they figure it out at every price point. And businesses do this. It's not just that. Businesses do this. The car companies. You know who does this? The restaurant does this. The steak is $52. The chicken is $38. That's an expensive chicken. I don't know. Just I'm just saying, like I mean, I don't know where you are. I don't I know a guy like you will, you know, well, yeah. understand. A guy like you, you're you go to these fancy places. I just try to predict. <laughs> I don't know about these places. You well, yeah, you're I not wrong. I just uh, you know, I try to imagine. <laughs> I try to imagine these things. 